Happy St. Patrick's Day, friends. Welcome to the Crayola channels. I am Lynn Lilly, craft and DIY expert from Craft Box Girls and Craft Box Kids. And in case you can't tell, we are making an Irish craft today. I've got my Irish glasses on, although I'm not Irish. I'm actually Italian. But we'll play along for the fun of the holiday, right? Okay, so we're going to make two fun crafts that will help you celebrate. First, we're going to make a really cute little bracelet out of paper. Did you know you can make your own beads out of paper and then we're going to make a little wand so that you can celebrate whether you're going to a parade or just having some fun around the house or at school. All right, so we're going to start with our paper beads first. Now, you can use construction paper. So we've got some regular green construction paper here. I also have my Bright Pop cardstock pad, which I absolutely love. You get all these really fun, colorful sheets of cardstock paper. And I found this one in it that's all different shades of green. So we're gonna use that one for our beads too. And if you're looking for this cardstock pack, you can shop this and everything else um, at your local craft store. Um, and you can check out all the different options and that paper is so much fun for summer and spring crafting. All right, we've got our paper and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cut for your beads. So you're gonna need a scissor and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the edge, okay? And we're gonna cut on a diagonal. So we're gonna make a really tall triangle. So as we cut up towards the top, it's gonna get skinnier and it looks like a super tall triangle, right? I'm putting it on top of this green so you can really see it, right? Okay, and we're gonna also do one out of this green as well. Now, if you need to, you can use your pencil and you can draw a line um, if you need some help cutting and cut along that line. Now, each one of these strips is going to make a paper bead. Now, the other things we need for this project, we're gonna be using some of our Crayola washable glue. And then we're also going to need something round to roll it around, okay? So we could use a pencil or we could use a straw. If you've got a straw, that works too. Um, if you've got a chopstick, you could use a chopstick. And then to put our beads on to make our bracelet, we're gonna use a green pipe cleaner. You can also use yarn as well. To get started, we're gonna start with our cardstock, okay? And we're gonna use our pencil. So I start with the wide end of my triangle and I wanna make sure I'm gonna get my glue open and ready to go because we're gonna need it at the end. So you wanna get that ready to go, okay? We're gonna put that wide end on our pencil and we're gonna wrap it all the way around, okay? And we just use our fingers to help us wrap it all the way around. So you can kinda of see how it is right there, okay? Now, we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna put our glue on the end here. And I'm gonna put more than you think I would need because what I wanna do is I'm actually going to smear this on my bead. This glue dries clear and this is gonna help our entire bead, and I can kinda of move it around as I do it, our entire bead become a little bit harder, right? So it's gonna have a nice texture. And we wanna make sure that we slide it off right away because we don't want it to stick to the pencil, okay? So we've got a bead and we'll wanna set it aside and let it dry. I'm gonna show you one more time and we're gonna use our piece of green construction paper that we cut. We start with our wide end on the pencil and we're gonna wrap it all the way around, okay? And we go all the way till we get to the end. Then we've got our little tail here. We're gonna put our glue right on there and we put more than we think we need. We smush it down. And then we take all that excess glue and we rub it around the entire bead. So that gives us a nice seal and helps the whole bead stick together. And then we want to take it off as soon as it will stay together. So it takes like a second to stay together. Take it off your pencil or whatever you're rolling it around because you don't want it to dry and stick to it. All right, so I have a quite a few other ones already done here and they dry really, really quick, which is what I like. All right, and remember this glue is washable. So you can wash it off your hands and we're gonna take our pipe cleaner. Now you can also use yarn for this as well, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna string our beads on. Now you can create a pattern if you want, or you can just randomly string them on. And you're gonna wanna measure your wrist kind of as you go so you can decide if you need to make more based on how large you're gonna make it. You could also make this into a necklace as well. So you could twist two pipe cleaners together or if you wanted to do it on yarn, you could do that too. All right, so we're gonna just use the ones that we've got in here. And whoop, 
And I'm going to put one more over here. And that'll be enough for now. Okay? So what we want to do is we're going to bend it together like a bracelet. Okay? So we crisscross those. And you'll want to double check and make sure this will fit your wrist. So you'll want to make it as big as you need to to fit your wrist. So if you do that and you're like, oh, my wrist doesn't fit, you can add a few more beads to make it bigger. We're going to take our pipe cleaners and we're going to just twist them around. We're going to do each tail around and that will help secure it. Then we're going to cut our pipe cleaners. Okay. So I'm going to use my scissor and I'm just going to cut off those tails. Let them fly off the table. We'll pick that mess up later. We always clean up when we're done crafting. Okay. And this might take some help from your parents, right? Because those ends of that pipe cleaner may be a little bit sharp. And then we kind of just put our beads over those ends and we have our very own St. Patrick's Day bracelet. And you can see I've got another one here too. This one fits my wrist, right? This one will be more so for my daughter's Lily or Bella. It'll fit their wrist. But how cute is that? You can make your very own jewelry out of paper. What? You may become a jewelry designer, you never know. There's lots of fun things you can do with it. Remember, this doesn't just have to be for St. Patrick's Day. You can do it with all different colors of construction paper. Remember this fun Bright Pop cardstock pack? That has all the secret colors in it. You can create lots of fun jewelry for summer. Okay, that was project number one. We've got one more project that you can use to help you have some fun to celebrate. So for this one, we're gonna be making this cute little St. Patrick's Day wand, okay? And you can have some fun and put your own twist on it. I'm gonna show you the basics of what you need to do. So you're gonna need something to use as your base, whether I've got these straws left over for Valentine's Day, so I thought we might as well use them for crafting. So we've got a thick paper straw here, you can use a small wooden dowel. You could use an unsharpened pencil if you wanted. Um, if you got an extra chopstick, maybe from leftover takeout, you could use that too. So we're gonna take some construction paper and we're gonna cover it, okay? So I've got my straw here and I cut out of my green construction paper just some thin strips. And you'll notice, they don't have to be perfect, right? Um, they don't have to be exactly even. We're gonna use them just to cover our straw. So I'm gonna start at the top my liquid glue and I'll just smooth it out and then I'll take my first piece of paper and my first little strip and I'm going to add that on right there and I kind of put it a little bit on as a diagonal and you're going to have to hold it in place while you wrap it okay so just hold that and you're going to wrap and then you'll want to put some glue every few times you wrap so I just put a little glue and you can use the top to smear it in and you're gonna wrap all the way around. You may need some help from an adult for this part. You could also, if you've got green ribbon, you could wrap it with ribbon too. All right, so you're gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna show you, I've got one that is already done. So check it out, just like that. And then if you run out of room, you can always trim the end of your straw. Your scissors can help you do that. And if you're using a paper straw, you can cut the straw if you want it to be a little bit shorter. All right, so we've got the stick to our wand. Now, we're gonna make the clover part, okay? So I've got some paper. You can choose if you wanted to do your green construction paper. Remember, I've got this really fun piece of paper um, for, my car, for my Bright Pot pack that has all these fun shades of green. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw a clover. Now, I have found the easiest way to draw a clover is to do it with hearts. So we're gonna start and we're gonna do one heart here, okay? And the heart doesn't come to a close, okay? And we're gonna do another one over here. And guess what? Clovers aren't perfect, right? Just like anything in nature, they're not perfect. So our hearts don't have to be perfect, okay? And I'm gonna do another one. Now, if you wanted to do four, you could. So you can see how we've got all of our hearts here. And then I'm gonna bring these two close together, but I'm not gonna connect it because I'm gonna make a stem. So I'm just gonna draw a little stem down there, just like that, okay? And then we'd cut it out. And after we cut it out, I've got one to show you that I already did. So you cut it out and then you flip it over and you've got your pattern. So then you can see I used marker on this one, but we don't have to see the back, right? So we've got our clover. Now, here's the fun part. Ask your parents if they've got some scraps from maybe it's gift wrap or maybe making some hair bows. Any kind of ribbon will work. So I've got some extra pieces of some rickrack ribbon and some sequins. Any kind of ribbon will work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually glue those to here. Now, if you don't have ribbon, the other thing that you can do is you can cut 
pieces of construction paper, which I will show you in just a second. But we're going to glue all these down. And this is going to take a minute to dry, right? So probably at least more than a minute. I would say, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Let this part dry before you play with it. Make sure it's nice and secure. But we'll keep adding some glue, okay? And I'm going to show you an alternative because I know not everyone has ribbon laying around, so I always like to give you some options to be able to still make this craft and have some fun, okay? So if you don't have ribbon to do this part, and then we'll trim our ribbon up, you can take some construction paper, and what we'll do is we'll take our scissor, and you can cut some thin pieces of construction paper, okay? And you could use different, there's different shades of green and different Crayola paper packs. Um, and if you guys do make this, I definitely want you to share using the hashtag Crayola Crafts because we love to see what you guys make. So one of the options, if you want to get your ribbon, which is your construction paper, and get it to curl, wrap it around a pencil, or again, if you've got a straw, something like that, take it out and you can use this. So, and you can glue these to the edge of your wand. So if you don't have ribbon, do that with a bunch of pieces of construction paper and glue it on. It'll be a little bit more fragile, but you can still make the craft and have fun with it. All right, so last step, we're gonna decorate our clover before we glue it on. Now, I'm gonna use my pencil, or you can use the marker, it's up to you. Let me get the marker so you guys can see it a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab my markers, and I'm gonna grab green, because we're gonna end up using green glitter glue to decorate it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write the word lucky. You could write your name if you wanted to. So I'm gonna write lucky, okay? So you can write whatever you want, okay? And then we're gonna take glitter glue. Who loves glitter glue? I do. My kids love glitter glue too. Let me tell you why I like glitter glue so much. We love crafting with glitter, but glitter is messy. Fun part about glitter glue is you get glittery crafts, but the glitter isn't a mess. It's all in the glue. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glitter glue and I'm gonna just trace what I just wrote with my glitter glue, okay? And you could just decorate this with markers too. It's up to you. Doesn't have to use, you don't have to use glitter glue, but if you wanna have a little bit of extra fun and you've got some glitter glue, you can absolutely have some fun decorating it. You could do polka dots on your shamrock. You could do, um, you could outline it. So if you wanted, you could outline all the way around the edge. You can add whatever detail you want. Now, the last step, and we would let this dry a little bit before we do this step, but for sake of the video, I'm gonna show you. Add a bunch of glue right on top of that pile of ribbons. And we're gonna take our shamrock and we're gonna glue it right to the top there. And we wanna let this sit and dry before we play with it. So our glitter glue has to dry on the top and the glue that we used to glue it together does too. But check out this one. So you can see how cute the glitter glue and it's nice and shimmery, right? Isn't that fun? And if you're gonna go have a party at school or go to a parade, this is a really fun prop to take with you. All right, that's it for today's St. Patrick's Day Crafts. I love it. I got my bracelet. I've got my wand. I hope you all had fun. Again, I'm Lynn Lilly from Craft Box Girls and Craft Box Kids. You can follow me for more fun crafts. Always make sure that you check out Crayola.com slash crafts. There's tons of really great project ideas there and free printable coloring sheets. So check that out. I will see you again in just a few weeks with some more fun crafts. Bye friends, happy St. Patrick's Day.